and we're back for some more Metal Detecting Madness. I'm back out again today for a little bit of Metal Detecting fun. I'm with a couple of pals today. Um, I'm a little bit pissed off actually because I actually joined the, I've joined a couple Metal Detecting clubs just recently. I've got my NCMD card ready. You know, I'm ready to rock to come and meet some of you guys out on the fields to come to some digs and stuff. And it's all been freaking cancelled, man. So yeah, I'm a little bit pissed off about that. But anyway, I'm out today on the, the on the Roman fields. I'm out with a couple of pearls. Um, we've got two walkses on the field and we've got an apex. Um, so we're going to smash it up. We're going to see how it goes. It's just a real quick video today. It was a little bit spot, uh, spontaneous. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, but anyway, it was a little bit, you know, on the random. We've only got a couple of hours until it gets dark. Um, but yeah, we're going to tear up these fields and hopefully find some good shit. If we do, then, you know, you'll be the first to know. So I'll see you guys on the first one. And ones. Cam the man has just had the first find of the day. Literally the very first target of the day for him. Silver. Silver. What is it? What, what's the date on her? 45. 45. So will that be 50? 50%, yeah, yeah. And it's a little sixpence. That's in really good, good condition, condition isn't it? man. If you could go back to 1945 right now, Cam, you could buy yourself something. Yeah, well, like a packet of sweets. Yeah, would you, well, I don't know what that would buy, actually. I don't know. You might. It's not a lot. I don't care. Yeah. That's lush. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah, man. Right, I'm um, testing out this new pinpointer today anyway. I've just hit a target here. I'm not sure if it's anything good. But a lot of you guys have probably seen this on um, Amazon. It's Dr. Otec. And it actually seems to work, which is good. So there is something down here. I've hit this target. This is my first target of the day. There you go. I think that's just a nail. Just there. But the point is working, so that's good. Yeah, it's just a nail. Um, but that point now, I think it's only like 30 or 40 pounds. And that's fucking shit up for that money. Because usually you're looking at 80, 90 pounds for a point now. So yeah, I'll let you know how I'll get on with this one today. Hang on, come, bruv, yeah? Can you just stop there for one minute? I've got coins to find. Listen, brethren. Hey, bread bin, listen. So, obviously, you guys, you all know, um, I know science and stuff like that, you know? I'm a very intelligent person. Sorry? Hey. What's that? Fuck off, man. <laughs> um, but listen, yeah, obviously, because I'm so intelligent and I know everything there is to possibly know about metal detection, um, sometimes these companies, they like to send me shit. Sometimes it is shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, Cam, stop fucking going everywhere! Coins to find. Listen, get the silver out, blood. Well, that silver coin I found. So basically, these Chinese people, uh, I think, I don't know where they're from actually, but Dr. Otek, they sent me this, along with some other stuff we're going to do some stuff with soon. Um, I don't know, but it seems, I've been using it, and I literally said to Cam just a minute ago, yeah, Cam... What have you been using it for? Huh? I've been using this for 20 minutes, and I'll tell you what, Cam, best one I've used. Got it on vibrate. Um, but basically, these dudes, they didn't pay me or nothing. They just give me this, basically. So if it's shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. And obviously, um, they probably won't be able to use this on their website or anything, because I've just called them <laughs> Chinese people and all kinds of shit like that. But anyway, basically, what we're going to do, Cam just found that beautiful little tiny sixpence, didn't you, Cam? Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to flip you around just a minute. I'm going to get Cam to just press it with his fat, chubby finger into the ground. Right, and we're going to see from a distance, what if I lose it? just out of the two, because Cam, how much does your pointer cost? Um, I think it's about 140 quid, I think. And we'll work out how much this one costs, but I think it's about 40 quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is about 100 quid less than Cam. So just for a little bit of science of the day. Yeah, it's only because mine is Bluetooth and it pairs with that, doesn't it? It comes out from my head. Yeah, that's just ball lake, isn't it? So basically, Dr. Otek is all fucking all right, isn't it? So I'm going to hide this from you. No, right, right let, let me right, just I'll tell you. So we've got Cam here. No, you're not going to hide it, Cam, because oh. we're doing a test with both machines. Because we've got three people here today. With three different pointers so when we get hold of our other mate in a minute we'll do the test again um but basically cam can you just get them fat fingers that are really good at prodding stuff in that with get down there what do you want it in like that or like that no sideways let's give them a bit of a chance like that. like that yeah and just finger fuck it straight into the ground that's it give it a good prodding oh, that's it cam so right i'm going to turn dr o shit on i mean otec sorry <laughs> Um, I think if you tap it one more time, it turns up the sensitivity a bit. Oh, look at that. Get pretty little disco lights. Right, so, what I'm going to do... Can you send the volume Where up is it, Cam? Can you send the volume up or not? No. Uh, where's the coin? It's there, you fucking nonce. Oh, wait, don't... I've got a hat on, and I get offended when people call me nonce. Oh, sorry about that. All right, fucking let's nonce. just see if this gets it at all. Boom! Hang on, can we see the height of this? Okay, so this pinpointer, it actually pinpoints stuff. Cam, get the old uh, red dragon out. 
Okay. But Cam, I would say that's about the same, mate. I think they're about the same. Yeah. So let's have a look at size, Cam. Cam. So, Alright, hang on, let's switch them off here. Size is important. Yeah, obviously. Mine's got a special little condom on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, actually, tell you what, can have a little wiggle on that. It's a bit of a right, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I quite like small and compact. Can you fucking pussy? <laughs> um, but yeah, so right, we're gonna go test it. The other geezer's got um, what's he got, can? Uh, Pro Find, it's Mine got, Lab Pro Find, isn't it? He's got a Mine Lab Pro, Mine Lab Pro Find, so we'll go have a go on that as well. But yeah, this is just a little bit of science for you kids out there. All right, Doctor Oteg, that's the shit, man. All right, Cam, you happy with that test? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, where's your silver? It's right in there, isn't it? All right, you better find that then, don't you, before you start crying. <laughs> right, let's go see this other dude and uh, see... Oh, look at that. That's a really good shot, actually. Oh, look at that, what he's just found there, look. <sighs> see, that Dr. Otet just found that. Just on its own. Just scraped it along the ground, see? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, guys, we've got our other friend with us now. He's got... What point have you got? 20-35. Mine lab, through 35. Oh, no, it's a 20. Sorry, the 35. 20, it? 20. Yeah. So Cam's going to finger prod that into the ground. Obviously, all pointers you'd expect to find. I don't know, actually, Cam. That one you lent me once. I wouldn't have found that. That was plunder, wasn't it? Um, so here's Dr. O's tech. Where is it? There? Yeah. OK. OK, it's on it. All right, you go for it, Brad. Oh, you're basically on the ground there. He's not, that's it, you're, that's it, now you're over it, it's about there. Oh, it's there. Okay, okay, that's not bad. How much does that point to cost? 70 quid. Okay, this was 40, mate, and look at that. That's got some height on it. Yeah, it's good. You like that pointer, don't you, Harry? I'll tell you what, mate, but you're just for a quick test. Pointer. You know, that's obviously the most scientific test you've ever seen on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've got all the centimetres there and everything. But yeah. yeah. If you need a backup, mate, check them out. Right, I've been walking around probably about an hour now with not really too much luck, but you've got to bear in mind we have absolutely hammered these fields. Um, but I have had, just now, out of this hole, a dinky little Roman coin. Pretty battered. There's a bit of something on there. So, not bad for a first decent target. Let me just come out of dickhead mode and go into full-time uh, history presenter mode. Um, so anyway, guys, as we're just out here, we're excavating on the field. Um, we're having a really good time. Um, I've been finding lots of amazing stuff in there. Anyway, I've just come on over to Cam, and he's found an amazing artifact, guys. I mean, oh my God. Take a look at that. It's got the usual kind of ring and dot design yeah, look that we here, find like... on a lot of Roman artifacts, you see? Is that some kind of strap end? Some kind of strap on. Oh, hang on. That is beautiful, though, isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. But do you know what? It was also not just Romans that used the old ring and dot. Was it Celtic as well? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it went earlier, didn't um, it? So, but I'll tell you what, with all the Roman coins and stuff we find here, it's I'm going to put that Roman, down to being yeah. Roman. It's got to be. Um, maybe some kind of strap end. Um, but I'll tell you what, Cam, that's a really nice little artifact, mate. It's that's nice, probably better than finding a coin. Yeah, yeah, that's really nice. Actually. Um, Probably third, fourth century um, Roman artifact. I might ask you to put it in your man bag. So Cam, you keep so this in my it. man bag. I'll tell you what, mate. I wish you'd put the drinks in it. I've got my Dr. Wotek here. Where did you get that from? Dr. Wotek sent oh, me that. Yeah, yeah. He sent me both of these. He's a man, isn't he? I wish he'd send me something. Do you speak Chinese? No, I don't actually. Well, no. you ain't getting shit then, are you? No. Uh, hang about um, pancake roll and chips. Fuck off, Cam. Hey, right, Cam, can, we, can I just have a quick close up on that artifact, please? Yeah. Do you mind if I snap it in half? Fuck off. Because look, it's got a bend there. If you do, that's what you do with your bit of bangle, if I remember rightly. You were on a bangle last night, weren't you? Yeah, so guys, let us know what you think about that in the comment section. But I reckon that's some kind of strap in Maybe it had like a that. handle on it and it's like maybe it was a letter opener. Or some kind of like shank, like prison shank. <laughs> shank. They made it in Roman prison. <laughs> Shiv you up. Shiv you up, Cam. <laughs> um, but yeah, well done, Cam. That's absolutely brilliant. I'll tell you what, Cam. That's made my day, seeing that little beauty. Really has, mate. Um, right, guys, let's get back to Second it. Second decent target out of this hole just here. And it's another little Roman, but this one, it's actually got some good detail on it. You can just see a Roman's head there facing to the right. And on the back, it's a little bit toasted. 
there's something going on there. That's not bad, that's my best find so far. Nice little Roman. The light's starting to fail us now, where it gets dark earlier now. Um, but anyway, I've just had my third coin. It's nothing really worth writing home about. It's a tiny little minim, but you can just see there's an emperor's head there. Little Roman dude just chilling on there. Back's pretty toasted, but that's three coins for me now. I think today is Cam's day. Uh, he's had, I think, about five coins, and he's had that really nice little artifact. So, But that's just how it goes. Last time out, I found two silver Romans. Cam had fuck all. This time round, Cam's on fire. So how it goes, man. I'll get just here. Um, but check it out. It's sticking out the soil. Can you see it? It looks like a bit of a coin there. Um, so we should be able to do this one on a live reveal. Let's do it together. Oh, it's quite big. As Romans go, that's not a bad size. Flip the other side off. Let's just hope this one's got a bit of detail on it. That'd be nice. Oh, I don't know. The back looks like it's got a bit of like iron disease on it. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, guys. Right, at the moment, I'm just spreading more mud onto it. But yeah, there you go. There's my next target. Um, I'll clean it up and I'll show you. Right, guys, there it is. Unfortunately, it has taken a bit of battering over the last one and a half thousand years or so. Um, it's not in the best of condition, but I can see some details just underneath popping up here and there. So maybe a little clean at home might get that up, but that's quite a fair size Roman. Um, yeah, there you go. There's another one. Well, guys, I'm really not too sure how much... Um, Ow, Cam, you slut. Um, I'm really not sure how much light we're, we're going to have left. Maybe literally like 20 minutes or so. So I thought I'd show you a little roundup now. We may find some more. Um, but let, I'll quickly show you what I've got so I can put it away and then I'll show you Cam's. Um, I've had six Romans. Pretty battered. Pretty toast. Some of them's got some good details on there. Um, but yeah, I'll take that. Six Romans. Not too bad. We'll put them away. Let's see what Cam's had. Same sort of thing. Uh, so yeah. he's had six Romans. Most of yours are pretty damn battered, don't they? Yeah. I've got a few with some detail on. You had the nice shiny, which yeah. is in really good nick. That's lovely, isn't it? Good nick, that, mate. And then you had probably the best find of the day. Um, I'm going to say that's a Roman artifact. What it is just yet, not 100% sure. Maybe but someone else will know. Uh, that's it, but what I do know is, Cam, mate, you need to wash your fucking hands, my I know, look at it. They're fucking disgusting. You've been putting that finger in your bum. <laughs> no, look at it. It was your bum. Oi, don't tell the people that. <laughs> right, let's quickly catch up with Dodgy Darren. See um, what Dazza's had today, before we lose all light. Yeah. It's Dodgy Dazza. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so you Dead had a little luck. Roman. Yeah, and it's small. That's not bad though, mate, really, is it? You can clearly see him though, can't you? Yeah. Nice one, mate, there's some good detail. That'll clean up nice, that will. That's all right, mate. Yeah, give it a scrub. Yeah, give it a little scrub a dub. Yeah, nothing. And he's had one of them little things there, a little bit of a forky. Yeah. Leaves them on a the target here. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the Apex so far? <laughs> Takes some getting used to, I think. <laughs> yeah, well that's, well, that's it with any machine, isn't it, really? Yeah. Um, I think I prefer the Orcs, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, that's just an initial gut feeling. Just going to have to see how it goes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Woo! 